We're trying something differently going forward. After the monthly OCM, Ordinary Council meeting, we're going to record a video to keep everybody updated on the decisions made by Council and what's relevant to people in the community. One of our decisions was to make Anita Grace a Freeman of the Shire. This was in relation to her years of service that she gave to the Shire over 20 years as a councillor, the dedication to the community, and she believed in giving people a fair go and a voice. So we're, we're excited that she's now a Freeman of the Shire of West Pilbara. Currently, there's a local government reform uh, happening. It's a review of the system. Uh, we want fair representation here in the East Pilbara Shire. So we're advocating for to hold uh, nine councillors and do a reward review to make sure that we're well represented across the Shire. So that everybody has a fair go and an, and an opportunity to have a say. There's also a requirement for a publicly elected president. So we're going that way as well. We have some community citizenship awards coming up. Nominations are due by uh, October 31, so the end of the month. They include the community, junior, which is less than 25, senior, over 65, and a group or event. So get your nominations in, go to our website or Facebook page to learn more. Excited to say that the Bloody Slow Cup, our annual event done by Police Legacy, is on the weekend after next, Saturday. Uh, please come on down, it's gonna be a great event as always. Uh, the Shire has committed $12,000 in-kind so, uh, sponsorship to make that event happen. Council endorsed the Shire to apply for some grants. Two projects, uh, one is the lighting upgrades in Newman, which takes into account all the ovals, the courts and the pool, as well as a rage cage in Nullagine, which will cover the hard courts. Both are part of our strategic rec master plan, which is input from the community and the feedback that we were given to make this happen. And they're due to finish 20, year 24-25. As everyone's been asking, a pool update. We're hoping that the pool will be open late November, early December, pending that we don't have any more issues. Uh, the, up, the upgrades have included the relining, the tiling, heating and cooling, and the change rooms. It's something that we're gonna be proud of, and hopefully the community is gonna be proud of once completed and open.